Okay, Eileen. Okay, great. So first of all, thank you all very much for coming. This is a lot of fun for me. Um, just to let you know that I am actually a life member of Hadassah. My grandmother bought it for me as a bat mitzvah gift. I grew up in Nashville, so that was a thing that we did. Um, but I never in my life had anything to do with it because I was in university and then graduate school and then I got married and we made Aliyah just after I got married. And I didn't, like, kind of silly because Hadassah Hospital is pretty big, but it never occurred to me that there was actually Hadassah ladies in Israel. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't look for it. And then talking to Roni, I'm like, oh, that sounds so much fun. I could do that now. I'm old enough to be a Hadassah lady. Um, so <laughs> this is a good opportunity and I'm really excited. One of the big things that I believe in strongly is um, the ability to work out at home without having to spend money on equipment. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know who Jack LaLanne is or was. He was a big exercise guru. In the 50s even, and especially through the 60s, he was the first guy that opened a gym. No one had ever heard of an exercise gym. But his big thing was working with um, at-home women, which was a majority of women were at-home women in the 50s and 60s, and encouraging them to be healthy and in shape. It wasn't even about losing weight or looking skinny or any of those things. It was just about taking care of your own body. And his exercise programs were built on books and chairs and furniture and the stuff you had in your house. And you could do a quick 15, 20 minute workout and then put on your hoop skirt and wash the dishes and make your husband a martini and the whole day was perfect. Um, so I don't know how to make martinis. I can't help you with that part of your day, but I can help you with the exercise part. So the first thing I wanna do is a warm up. So get your broom. Um, any stick will do. It doesn't have to be particularly long. I recommend taking the squeegee broom part off just because it's an unbalanced weight on the stick. And when we stand, I can't really see everyone standing, otherwise, I would try to watch more carefully. We want to be relaxed in our legs, right? We don't want to walk too tight or hold too tight. We want to be nice and loose, okay? And we stand always, back is nice and straight, stomach tight and tucked. Otherwise, we end up arching our back too much. And unless we're on purpose doing an exercise where we want our back here, we want to be relaxed, right? And our head is always up and facing forward. So we're just going to start. Hands here, leg width apart, okay? And very even, not even gripping the stick because the grip forces a tightness that'll go all the way up your shoulder into your neck. So just very lightly, you're just gonna come up and come right back down again. And when I warm up, I usually do six to eight depending because it's not really an exercise, it's just a warm up to loosen your joints. You're gonna do it nice and slowly, right? Because in the beginning, we haven't done anything and we're just warming up. So we'll do three more. Sandy Wine, I see you. Four, two more, five. And one more is six. We're just gonna do the six, but at the sixth one, stop here. And now we're gonna go up and over the head. Okay, I don't know if you can see how high up it's going, but your arms are gonna be nice and straight. And then come right back down to shoulder height. Excellent. And going up. And here, each time you go up, as we're warming up your shoulders, you wanna try and get your arms back a little bit past your headline, right? And if you have one shoulder that's more flexible than the other, this is a good time to use that shoulder to help the other one that's a little stubborn reach further back. Nice and slow, and we have two more. Great. Awesome, last one. Okay, and on the last one, we're gonna leave our arms right up here and open them up a little. So now they're further out than shoulder width. They're about here. 
okay? And we're gonna bring it down. You can either do it to your front. If you have more flexibility in your shoulders, you can go to your back, okay? And again, nice and slow because we're just opening up the shoulders. Unfortunately for us as women, shoulders are the first place where all the aches and pains end up starting. And it's really important to keep them loose and open. Okay, so either go to the front or the back. I'm going to the back because my baseball cap gets in the way when I go to the front and I keep smacking it. So that's a hazard of wearing a baseball cap. One more. Nice. Okay. Now just relax and shake out the shoulder. Yes. All right. So now we're going to add in a little bit of legs. Okay. Eileen, yes, given that, given that really good hint you gave me about the breathing. Ah, about okay. The I will when we start the exercise. Okay. All right, we'll do it now, actually. All right, so now we're gonna add in a little lift to open up the legs and the hips, okay? So the first part is a squat. How do we do a squat, okay? These are really important things. First of all, your feet, I don't know if you can see my feet. The further I get away, I can't see myself at all. They're hip width apart, okay? And they're parallel, toes facing forward, all right? You can do it a little bit wider if it's easier, if you need to. And a squat is coming down like you're about to sit on a chair or a toilet or whatever, right? Back is straight, thighs horizontal to the floor. If you can't go down all the way, that's okay. And when we come up, the stick is gonna come up here. Okay, so we're coming down in the squat and stick coming up, Yofi. Okay, continue to look forward, squat, and press, that's three, three more. One, two, last one, three. Yofi, all right, and shake it off. And now the last one, because we've covered most of the body, is we're gonna warm up, get our heart rate going. So we're gonna hold this stick out here. Okay, and we're gonna lift the knee up to touch the stick. Okay, the idea is not to bring the stick down to the knee. The idea is to get the knee up as high as you can. And we'll do that 10 times actually, because we wanna get moving, get our heart rate going a little, so our body's warmed up, and we're ready to move on. Yofi, this also, Forces you to balance a little bit. Keep your stomach muscles nice and tight. Yofi, two more. And last one. Yes, all right. Shake it all off. And we're done with the stick until the end. We'll use it to stretch and cool down at the end. Okay, if anyone has any questions so far, just unmute yourself. And you can ask, otherwise we're ready to move on. Everybody good? Okay, give a thumbs up so I know. <laughs> All right, next, two towels. Mine are little. I actually suggest slightly bigger ones like dish towels. These are a little hard for one of the Targulene. Okay. Now, now that we're in the exercise part, there is always some repetition. Um, it helps also to be able to repeat things just so you can master the skill. And also it goes back on itself, gets your heart going, because sometimes the first time you do something, it's more complicated and you don't do it as well, so the second time you do it a little better. Um, Roni has reminded me, when you do an exercise, the, when, how do you breathe? Um, breathing is about, if you think of your stomach like a balloon, when you breathe your air in, your stomach is expanding. And when you breathe your air out, your stomach is tightening. So for the effort of your exercise, if you're lifting a heavy weight, your breath is going to come out 
as you do the hardest part of the exercise. So if I've got my weights here, I'm gonna breathe in. And as I breathe out, I'm gonna lift. So that also creates a tension in here and creates a stronger core and pushes the energy and gives you that energy. So that was just by way of explanation. All right, towels go on the floor. You can do this one, and if I'm going too fast, just somebody tell me. So we only have half an hour. You can do it. Can you see my feet? Hold on. Okay, you can do it against a chair or a stool, but make sure that it's pushed up against a wall so it doesn't move. You can do it on the floor as well. And you can do it on a table or a piano. I have my piano here. Whatever height is comfortable for you. But the idea is to have your back nice and straight, okay? And you're gonna bring your feet in. Okay? The towel creates a friction that makes it that much harder. So you're gonna do that. We're gonna do it 10 times. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yofi, pick up one of the towels and this is what I didn't want to do, was to have to keep moving the string. Pretend I'm standing at a wall. You want a wall next to you. And we're just going to wash the wall. If you're standing next to a wall or a window or your bookshelf, right? I'm just standing in the air because I don't have a wall this close to me here. Um, but so your arm is sideways, okay? And you're gonna go 10 times forward on your right hand, and then 10 times backwards. Okay, and then switch hands to the other side. Okay, 10 times forward, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then ten times backwards. One, two, three, four. Remembering that your back is straight, your body is facing. Oops, eight, nine, ten. You're fat. And then back on the floor, and we're going to do ten more of these. Okay, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. All right. That's how we can use our. Oh, wait. One more. I forgot it. Towel. Stand here. I'm gonna put it behind. Grab it one hand above and one hand back and dry off. This is really, really amazing for flexibility, coordination, right? It works the shoulders, okay? If it's too hard, get a slightly longer towel. Yeah. Try and keep your head straight looking forward. Don't look down. That's it. Really good. Nice change. Excellent. Great, Colacavo, do 10 and then switch your arms around so you're reaching it from the other side now. You switch your hands around. And these are times where you may notice like, oh wait, that side hurts a little more or whatever. It's just something to be aware of, but making sure your head's straight, don't look down. Great, count to 10. Terrific. Beautiful. All right, now we're really done with the towels. Okay. Hands. 
you have weights at home, you can use weights, but the idea is for me to show you if you've got stuff around the house. Some people say using bags of sugar or flour, but I don't recommend that because if you lose your grip and it's on the floor, then that's just a mess. No one wants to clean up. Um, and you make sure that your cans are of equal weight, which mine are. Okay. All right. We're going to do four exercises with the cans. The no. Yes, four exercises. The first one is just an easy shoulder. And again, so we're going to breathe out as our arms come up and back down again. Nice. The idea is we're going to come up on two, one, two, and down on four. One, two, three, four. There you go. And back up. One, two, one, two, three, four. Nice. Again. One, two, one, two, three, four. A lot of times you see people doing exercises really fast. Um, and that's more about getting through them. Doing it slow and methodical creates a little more work for your muscles. If you have difficulty coordinating both hands, right, both arms, if you have one side that's working better than the other, then do it one at a time. Focus on the one arm and then focus on the second arm. That's perfectly legitimate. If you also find that it's hard to do it standing, then please sit. There's no, there's no law that says to do these targilim, you have to be sit, standing up. Okay, you can do it one arm at a time. Great. Really nice. Excellent. We'll do two more. You can do them at the same time. Beautiful. Should feel it in the shoulders. The benefit of using cans instead of weights is the grip is a little wider, so it's less pressure on your fingers and your thumb if you have aches and pains in your grip, which if you have arthritis or something, you might have. Okay, last one on the left, and we're done. Yofi. All right, next one. We're going to hold the weights. <clears throat> Basically, they're weights. Um, we're going to, first of all, the first part is we're going to lunge to the side, okay, and come back. But with the lunge, when we go to the side, we're going to reach the opposite hand across and come back. Okay, so if my right leg is lunging, my left arm is coming to the side and coming back. So this is a balance. Okay, we're strengthening the leg muscles and the arms. So we'll do three more in this way. Four, three, two, one. Nice. And now we're going to go to the left with the left leg and reach across with the right. One, two, Three, four, make sure to breathe, don't hold your breath. Five, six, two more. Seven, eight, nice, okay. Um, if everyone has their chair, I'm gonna use a stool. This is like what we did with the stick in the beginning. Okay, we're gonna hold the weights here. We're gonna sit and come right back up and push those hands up. And sit and push. Yofi, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more. Nine, 
Last one. Ten. Yeah, fair. All right, shake out those arms. We can put the cans down. And if you have your chair anyway, we're gonna do one little leg thing, balance thing. You can do this, like I said, we talked about in the beginning. Everyone can do every targil because we can adapt it to whatever level you're on. So the idea, you're gonna take your right leg and kick to the left of the chair. Okay, keeping nice and straight, keeping your eyes looking forward. If that's too easy at the bottom, you can kick higher up. Okay, and if you want a really big challenge, you can kick your leg over the chair. Okay, however it works best for you. If you're sitting and the Lifting up and kicking is hard. You can do it sitting and just kick. Okay? The idea is to move. Okay, so everyone find their way. Do 10 all together, which is what I call exercise math. So it's 1 plus 1 equals 1. Right, so each leg is a one. And then you'll just give me a thumbs up when you're done. And we'll be ready to move. Okay, everyone good? I just need a drink, hang on one second. Roni, you okay? All right, next, books. Preferably hardcover, preferably something that's easy to grip, right? You want it to be easy in your hands. How did I think of this? I was out for a walk the other day and somebody had dumped their entire library on the sidewalk. It was really heartbreaking. So I found books, brought them home and did exercises with them while I was walking. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, and this is a really important one to pay attention to the technique. Okay, you're gonna bend the knees just a little and lean over, keeping your back nice and straight. Okay, and your hands are gonna drop so that they're hanging right below your shoulder. And you're gonna open and close. Open and close. This works your back. And it's a little bit of a static exercise in your legs, okay? I don't want anyone down here, okay? You can bend your knees a little bit and you're opening out this way, Yofi. Nice. Do five, four, three, You'll see two and one. Nice, really good. Okay, now we're gonna take the books and you can hold just one in both hands or put the two of them together like this. Bring them behind your head. Can you see behind my head? I'll sit so you can see my arms. Okay, so your elbows are in close. Focus behind, and you're just coming straight up. It's a motion from the elbow. The elbow is the other thing, only thing moving. If your shoulder is moving with you, that's not correct. It's just from your elbow. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Yofi, yofi. How's everyone doing? Arms should be burning a little bit. We've been doing a lot of arm work. Okay, the next one is easy. In the beginning, it's easy. Okay, so the first part is just a bicep curl with your book. Really simple. 
Okay, but again, legs not locked, back nice and straight. Okay, you can always add a heavier book. You can do this with the cans as well. Doesn't have to be the book. Okay, so now that we've done those, we're gonna add a little something. We're gonna do a lunge with it. Okay, so a lunge is one foot forward and both knees, hold on so you can see me, both knees are bending at a right angle. Right, so this leg is a 90 degree angle and my back leg is a 90 degree angle. And while I'm down here, I'm gonna curl. And then I'm coming back. And I'm gonna switch legs, bring the books up and come back. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 of those. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, okay. Shake out your legs, shake out your shoulders. Um, how are we doing for time? That's been about half an hour. We could do a cool down or a stretch. Roni, unmute yourself, Roni, I can't hear you. <laughs> you all ready for a cool down or do you want another exercise or two? Oh, oh, I have to unmute. You can unmute yourself if you wanna say oh, something. I did, I, I'm, wait, I think I unmuted everybody. You did. More and more. Except Johnny, Karen. Oh, cool down would be cute. Would be fun. A cool down. No, okay. no, 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 Okay. All right. Cool. Okay, so get you're on. Back. Did you unmute me? Yes. Okay. So get your cans back. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. Since we're almost at the end, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, heart rate stuff, okay? So, we're gonna to go to the side, one, two, and two punches, and come back, one, two, two punches, one, two. That's two. That's three. Four, your feet. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oops. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Yeah, oh, I forgot to go back the other way. <laughs> Ten. Yo, okay. Feet. All right, Roni, you sit. I know you well enough already. <laughs> All right, great. Okay, we're gonna do one more for the arms and then we'll do one more for the legs. Okay, well, maybe we do one more for the other. All right, so first, again, you can do it. Two hands coming up together, or one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, 
Eight, two more, nine, nine, 10, 10. Amazing. All right, we're gonna do one more tagio. It's gonna work on the stomach and then we'll cool down. Um, hold on a second. I just have to, my living room for a second. All right, can you see me at the table? We're gonna put the hand on one side. I'm gonna stand with my back to the table, okay? I'm gonna reach for my can, whip it across the other way, and bring it back. Boom. Okay, it's a big, fast motion here. It's a quick stop, drop the can, pick it up. You have something even heavier, like a laundry basket, or a laundry detergent, or a bigger, heavier something then use that instead of the can. Okay, but it's a full twist. Your body's coming down, twisting, bringing it back. Twist, bring it back. Okay, and do that 10 times, and then we'll cool down. Yofi, try and make it less about your arms and more about your stomach. Right, because your arms oh. without you twisting at all. I just want to say one thing here. Um, yeah. You brought back a big memory because when my father was on the Houston Police Department, he ran the gymnasium and he had been a boxer when he was young to make money to eat. Anyway, what do you think the heavy thing was that he lifted to exercise and things like that? Me, uh, he would take me. <laughs> And do these things. <laughs> That's great, Ronnie. Uh, Eileen, but it, uh, it was too dizzy, that last part, to move my head around. So, right, so you have to focus. If you focus on the can, keep your eye on the can. I find that helps. Okay. Okay. Or you can do it like Shawnee's doing and keep looking forward. But the idea is that your body is moving, not just your arms, right? It's not about your arms twisting, it's about your torso. And if it does make you too dizzy, then don't do that. And we'll, you know, we can figure out other things to do to strengthen this area because it's also good for your spine. Keeping the Eileen is always is having That's to find different things to do for me because, you know, different things affect different people. My, uh, my voice is on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, she can always find something else that's similar and works the same muscles, but won't affect you negatively. And I'm sorry, I can't be more like... Uh, no, but moving the, keeping the head straight is a good idea. That's very helpful. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to stretch. So I want you to just grab your oh, stick. Also, if you, if you focus on a point... Uh, if you focus on a point in front of you and keep on doing the move, then you'll be even less dizzy. Okay? Yeah. All right. So the first thing we're going to do with this stick is just hold it overhead. And we're just going to stretch to one side. Come back up and stretch to the other. And one more time. Your feet and back to the other side. Nice. All right. If you can, stick the stick behind you so that it's in the crook of your elbows. Okay. This also is a nice stretch. We're going to hold it to the side a little bit, come back to the middle, and then twist back to the other side. Your feet. One more time. Your feet. Good. 
Very nice. And if you're able to put it up here and put your hands this way, not everybody can, and that's okay. And then you can twist this thing. Very good. Okay. So now we'll just stretch regular. We're done with all our toys. <laughs> okay. We'll just stretch. So your right arm is going to reach across your chest. Your left hand is going to push up on the right elbow and push it towards you so you're stretching this area of your shoulder. Great. And shake it out and do the other side. Very nice. Okay, take your right arm. It's gonna go behind you, back here, between your shoulder blades, okay? And you're gonna take your left hand and push it. Hold on, I need to be so far away now. Push on the elbow here. We're gonna open up this muscle right in here. Okay, and now. I'm just going to sit so you can see what my arms are doing. You're going to bring your right arm up in the air, and your left hand is going to pull like you're trying to pull it out of the socket, but don't. And then stretch to the side. Yeah, fine. Okay, shake it out, and now we're going to do the left hand. First behind you between your shoulder blades, push back on that elbow. Yofi. Arm up in the air, pull. Yofi. And now drop the right arm and go to the side. Very nice. Okay, shake it out. Now we'll stretch the legs a little bit. So if you go back to your chair or your stool or your table, whatever you were leaning on, okay, we're going to have one leg forward and one leg back, and you're going to push back on that back heel like you're trying really, really hard to get it to, your, to the floor. Hold it there. Generally, when I stretch, I count to 20 for each part I'm stretching. Some people say 30. I don't have the patience to get to 30, so 20 is also very acceptable. Yofi. Now we're going to have a slightly wide stance. Okay? We're going to come down very slowly. And let your head and your hands just drop. Okay, and now breathe in, come up. You'll see, and we're going to go down one more time. This time, let your breath out as you go down. Try to get a little closer to the floor, than, more close than you did last time. So we're going to drop, breathe out. Your feet. Stretch to the right and then stretch to the left and come up again really slow. Nice and slow. Your feet. All right, hang on to something and pull on that leg so you're stretching your quadriceps, the muscle up here. If you need to do it sitting down, you can. You just sit and pull it here the same way. So you're stretching this area up here. Yofi. Amazing. And then just switch legs. Yofi. 
All right, and one last one. We're gonna cup our hands together in front. Okay, and take a nice deep breath. And as we let the breath out, we're gonna bring our hands way up at the top. Flip the hands so that your palms are facing the ceiling. Really open up in your stomach. Arch that back. Bring your eyes and your face up toward the ceiling. And then bring your hands back. Let's do one more. Take a deep breath in. Yes. Nice. Very nice. And we'll just lean our heads to the left. Great. Ear to put your ear to your shoulder. And the other side. Your feet. Yay. And forward. Nice. And we'll just look to the right. And look to the left. Great. Now we're done. Good job, everybody. Okay, let me unmute. All right.